Finally, to a rather different kind of stadium. Think of an amphitheatre and perhaps the Colosseum in Rome springs to mind, or for the more discerning classicist, El Gem in the Tunisian desert. Both were home to some pretty grisly forms of entertainment. Rather less grand as it is now is the Richborough Amphitheatre near the Kent coast. But archaeologists have discovered something there that hasn't been found in any other amphitheatre in Britain, and it's a race against time to uncover all its mysteries. It's a labour of love, removing the layers of soil and rocks, peeling away the centuries to reveal the place where Roman Britain found its entertainment and where many met a gruesome death. A buried amphitheatre with walls that appear to have been painted, enough to excite the most unflappable of historians. The idea that we would find painted decorations surviving, that was a great surprise. Uh, and when we found it, we were literally jumping for joy. You know, it, it's, it's that big for us, for us historians and archaeologists. To find something of that nature is amazing. The archaeologist who made that find was today uncovering more traces of Roman paintwork almost 2,000 years old. It's a chalk wall with a, a rough mortar and then uh, a, a thin layer of plaster over the top which would have been painted yellow. This is a layer of, of red plaster underneath. And then here, this is a, a layer of yellow plaster that's been on top of it. These finds allow us to picture a walled, painted arena where up to 5,000 local citizens would gather to watch mortal combat, fights to the death with wild animals and the occasional execution. The match of the day was a bloodthirsty business back in Roman times. A short walk from the dig site are what remains of the Richborough settlement, where the Roman army came ashore at the start of their occupation and stayed for four centuries. Until this excavation, this was the only evidence of the nearby amphitheatre and its history. Now it's giving up its secrets, including a newly discovered cell where those due in the arena were held. Animals or gladiators or criminals waiting for execution would be penned up prior to issuing out into the arena and facing whatever fate met them. So this is quite a gloomy place. It is quite a gloomy place, yes, but we're very happy to have found it in such good condition. The team are happy, but also up against the clock. They have 17 days to discover what's hidden and make a record of it. Then, as often happens, they must put all that soil back and bury the site for someone else to explore in the future. Paul Davis News at 10, Kent. Executing criminals, fighting wild animals and Roman mortal combat, all in Kent.